I just asked uh, John asked me about um, a a quick way of getting multiple people at multiple locations to access a spreadsheet, but not everybody is allowed to edit it, but can import it. Um, so this is a very quick and easy way of doing uh, Google Spreadsheets. Um, the reason I like this is because you create a form and then it pushes the data through onto a spreadsheet. So anybody with the link can import onto the form, which is useful for things like conferences where you want some feedback, or in this case, you've got people in different locations that can put their data in there. But then the spreadsheet, you only give email access only specific people with the old gmail accounts can actually edit it so everyone can see it sorry only those people can see it and does it work i've had up to 16 people actually on the spreadsheet and 45 people inputting on it so yeah it works really well and one of the good things is it's free <laughs> so hopefully you find this useful john thanks for watching so this is how to make a very quick and easy lead gen form um, useful for call centers, useful for all sorts of things. Um, one of the first things I'll say is you can make this so it's accessible in an internet browser with the link. Um, it gives it an obscure one, but it means anybody can access it, but doesn't actually have access to the spreadsheet. But the first thing you gotta do is actually make a new spreadsheet. So we want a Google Sheet, and it'll go away and make a new sheet for us. Okay, so now we've got our sheets. Don't need to edit anything on here yet. Um, what we want to do is actually go and create a form. And we'll just have this as a sales, sales ledger. ledger. Um, so we'll, what we're going to do is, first thing, we're going to have a short paragraph. So this is like saying customer name. Then we'll just copy that, duplicate down. We want a long answer, so we'll have a paragraph. And what we're going to put in here is address, and another paragraph. And maybe we'll have multiple choice, interested in product, option one, yes, enter, no. And then you can have add other, so it can actually um can put something different like for example no no not interested but call back in six months or whatever um that's basically it i mean you can add lots of different things in here uh you can add the date let's let's find some of these you got the date time multiple choice grid all bits and pieces which I'm not going to go through simply because you want to play around with it and get used to the thing. Um, you can edit these, insert images, add videos, all sorts. So this should be our form. Can we just close it? I wonder if it recognizes it. it's done. Okay, so form, edit form, send form. Go to live form. So this is back on the spreadsheet. So we're going to open that in a new tab. So this is it, this is what it looks like. So customer name, uh, Dave, uh, address, somewhere city, interesting products, no, In let's put that twice, it's copied it down. Um, I can delete that anyway. So I just wanna show you, we press submit on that. It's, it's been recorded. And if we go back to the spreadsheet now, Go back to where your spreadsheet is, and you'll see down the bottom here, look, form responses, one. And there's the time it was filled in. There's a customer name, the address, the interesting product, no. I said that second one's wrong, but what you can actually do is go form, edit form. And you go, well, I didn't, that's, we don't want that, so let's delete it. Just double click on it. I don't want to do it. There we go. There it is at the bottom. So we delete that now. So that won't exist anymore. And we've, it shows that we've had one response so far. That's the edit finish. So we can close that. And what we should find if we refresh this form, we should actually lose this interested in product. 
It might keep it on there because it's in case there was a response. Yeah, because it, because it existed before, it won't delete it yet. Okay, fine. So we go back to here, submit another response, and you'll see that it's got rid of that last one. So let's go, Mike, over here. Interested? Oh, stay on page. Interesting product. Yes, submit. And that's it. That's gone through now. Go back to the form. You can see it's already doing it. And this is why I liked it with a call center, you see, because it updates these live. So when you put customer information into your callbacks, you can uh, give the link access to your sales team. You can give the link access to people um, that are working for your client or whatever. It, it updates here. But you can add multiple people to it as well. You don't just have to have one person. I've had 16 people using this form at the same time because as you add them the the little blue bar here um when it's a different person it could be green purple whatever they'll show that it's a different person editing stuff and you can edit it all live so for example say that somebody did give him a call back and said oh uh, uh he said give six months and that will update it so it's very very useful I do like this. Thanks for watching.